Hi friends, welcome to Code Tech Gyan. In the previous video, I hope you all have understood how you can send a mail using Gmail SMTP server. And in today's video, we will learn how to send the email along with an attachment. So I will quickly go over the things that I explained in the previous video. Quickly, let's understand all that concepts so that we can move ahead in this video itself. So the blue box that you see, it is a mem message. Mem message is basically final content that you will be sending to the recipients. Then in, in this blue box, you can see few small light green boxes. So these light green boxes are few parts that you have to include inside the mem message. So they are email subject, the recipients of the email, and then the body of the mem message also. So in, you, you can see here, I have two small boxes, body and attachment inside the a bigger light green box. So the bigger light green box I have marked as multi-part. So here multi-part is also an object. And inside this multi-part object, I have included few smaller objects that is body and attachment of the email. So basically multi-part object, subject and recipients, all three things will be added to your MIM message. And in this multi-part object, you can add body and attachment of your email. So in the previous video, I only had the body part inside the multi-part. But in this video, I will show you how you can do attachment part also and add it to the multi-part. So this is the code snippet of the draft email. And here you can see you have MIM message object created. You have MIM body part created. And then you have multi-part object also created. And MIM body part has been added to multi-part. So in this video, what we will do, we will just do a little modification and we will make multi-part include the attachment also. So just three lines of code and you are good to go. Check out. First one, MIM body part, you have to create an object of attachment body part. This is done in the similar way I created. Just you can see two lines above of this red mark. You can see that MIM body part, body part object is created. And in the same way I have created MIM body part, attachment body part object. And then I'm creating a file of, this is a picture, kotegyan.png. I have attached it to attachment body part. And then finally you have to add multi part dot add body part and add the attachment body part itself. So this is done exactly in the way the body part was done. Let's understand this by the code. So here what we will do, we will create one more MIM body part. Similarly, the way we did the previous one. So I'm just going to create one more MIM body part. And instead of making it as a body part, I'll make it as an attachment. Let's write it as attachment body part. And now I will add this attachment body part inside the multi part. The way I did it for before. Multi part dot. Same thing. Add body part. And then add this attachment body part here. Now the setup is ready and you have to add the attachment also, right? You can't just send it just like that. You have to add some attachment inside. So what you have to do, just go and use this attachment body part object. Use attach file and add a new file here. Give the relative address of your file. Suppose it's users in my case it's users i have put my file on my desktop suppose it's code tech yarn logo and then i just need to import the input output file let me see what error here it is okay throws declaration i have to add for input output just solve the remaining errors and run the code and here is the output. Hope this video will help you in sending an email along with the attachment. If you like this video, please like and subscribe this channel and help the channel grow. Thank you so much. Have a good day.